Hello friends, welcome back. We are making a Lisp. And uh, in this video, we're gonna finish up step two evaluation. When we left off last, we had gotten the bulk of the work done, but we had some failing tests. In fact, the test was failing in such a way that it was just killing the whole test suite. So I'm not sure how many more tests there are, uh, but we did have some passing tests. So we're gonna work on getting this fixed up and then see if we can get the rest of the test suite passing, so we'll jump right in. And I think we want to open up step two eval uh, where we had written some code here and the error that we're getting is error ABC not found, which I had done here as just a, just printing it out, but we actually wanna throw an exception. So I think in our types, um, types, well, I can't type, types, HPP, let's create a new type for an exception type. So uh, should we just copy this? Yeah, let's copy that. Exception value, and it's gonna look like this, exception value. Um, for now, we'll just have it be empty, so I'm not sure. It should probably have a message. Um, Let's, let's do that, let's do that. M message, message. And we'll do std string m message. And this uh, type will be exception, which I'll have to go create in just a minute. Exception. Um, <laughs> wonder if I should do m message like so, M message, and um, don't, do I need this message, message. Okay, and st string, let's uh, be that a reference, okay. Um, I think that's good. And then we'll do exception value here, exception, exception here. Let's put this, are these in order? I think I want these in order. Why not? And we also need exception value, like a way to cast it if you have a pointer to the base class. Uh huh. And then in types CPP, we also need one of these. Has exception, exception, exception. Okay, it's a lot of boilerplate typing there, but we have a new type now. Uh, instead of this error message, let's do a throw new exception value. And I guess the message would be. Um, this, uh, something like this, maybe not found and don't need those. Okay, so what does that do? What kind of failure do we get? As exception, not uh, FN value. Oh, uh, 33 CPP. I didn't change this exception value. It should be an uncaught exception. Uh, yes, okay, so now we can catch this exception somewhere. Where do we wanna catch this? I think we want to catch it in the REPL, uh, in the REP. So maybe um, here, like so. catch exception and um, can I not do that? Uh, exception value and I think in the turn in, in the case of the REPL, um, let's just print out what the exception message is. and return, and what does print? Um, print, 
Let's look at printer because I need to remember exactly what it does. It just returns a string. I mean, I guess, I guess an empty string for now. So I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure. Let's open a new one here. CPP make. Step to eval. So if I do an exception foo, foo not found, it looks like it worked. It does print a blank line, which we may want to fix, but I think we're onto something here. So let's run the tests. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, all the, the test suite ran, perfect. We got all of the test suite going and we only have uh, three failing tests. Fantastic. Uh, okay, failed test. So this is supposed to produce one, two, three, but it didn't evaluate. Why did it not evaluate? So let's run that ourselves. If I do plus one, two, like there, I get three. But if I put this inside of an array, oh, it doesn't evaluate, okay. Why not? Um, why doesn't that evaluate? So in hmm. eval AST, I might have to go back over this code to see if I missed something. Eval AST. Do, 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 do. Just gotta look. So if it's a list, oh, if it was a list, would it have worked? Um, I don't have a way to build a list without evaluating something, but I think this is the case right here. Uh, did I miss something in the guide or are we just supposed to, um, to know how to do that? Uh, modify evaluate to check the first parameter is a list. If it's not a list, yada, yada, yada. I'm pretty sure we did all of this. I mean, I think I know what the answer is. I think I know what the answer is. I think um, right here, we're getting a vector. Um, oops, types. Let me just make sure we have a vector type, right? Vector value. Yeah, so if this is a vector, then we want to create a new vector value and loop over the items in the vector, pushing the result of evaling each item and then return the result. Um, and I think the reason that's not in the guide because it told me to do vectors uh, and lists, uh, I think back in one of these other steps, I think I could have done vectors a different way uh, and had a list of vectors share code, but I didn't do it that way. So that's probably why I'm running into this, but uh, we'll just run the test and see if that fixes it. Cause now we're evaluating the vector items and we have uh, one less failing test. Great. Uh, same thing with hashes. We're not, um, we're not evaluating them. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's just do that here. So if it's a hash map, then we're gonna do a new hash map value and pair uh, types. Well, let's, let's go look at our types, hash map value. And um, I guess I didn't, cr I didn't expose the um, iterator, did I? Uh, yeah, I didn't expose the iterator hash map value. So let's do kind of like we did here, but this is going to be um, m map and m map end. So we're just exposing the underlying type uh, iterator, uh, which I think is fine for now. So this is going to be a pair, and this is going to be pair. Uh, this is not going to be push. It's going to be set. Um, Oh, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm reading this right. So, yeah, 
eval AST. See, it says it right here. Oh, right there. Eval AST should evaluate elements of vectors and hash maps at the following cases in eval AST. If it's a vector, return a new vector as a result of calling eval on each of the members. If it's a hash map, return a new hash map consists of key value pairs where the key is a key from the hash map and the value is a result of evaling it. Okay, so we don't eval the key. We just eval the, va um, the uh, second part of the vector. That's uh, something's not right. Hash map second, um, and then this needs to be pair dot first eval pair second. So we're going to eval the second part, which is the value. Uh, let's just set this out. So auto value equals that val. Okay. Um, let's see if that gets another test passing. Yay, all the tests are passing. We're done with step two, right? Yeah, we did it all. Oh, that's cool. So now we get to commit this whole thing. I haven't committed since the last video, uh, step two. So now I think we need to say step two, um, just make sure. So I did like a colon, add reader and printer. Okay, step two, add eval. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Get remote V. That goes to my own GitHub, right? Get push. So that's it for step two. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you are either following along or you're planning to very soon because Mal is a very fun project and you learn a lot. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do step three environments and we're going to teach our little Lisp how to do some work with variables and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that you will stick around for the next video and I will see you then. Bye.